Hello. Last week, I made, I made a video asking if uh, people would be interested in me making uh, announcement videos every once in a while to give a little heads up on what I'm going to be reading in case um, anyone might like to read along with me. Uh, I, I said I would do it every once in a while, and um, I'm going to tell you the book that I'm going to be reading in March. It's uh, Joseph and His Brothers by Thomas Mann. So, there's a whole bunch of activities and challenges going on right now. There's uh, Alan Morton's uh, Chunkster Chunksters for Charity, which is a uh, year-long um, challenge slash uh, charity event. And March is uh, March of the Mammoths. I came across this uh, watching Lukash's um, announcement video for it. Uh, there's also a German challenge uh, to read uh, more uh, German li literature throughout the year. And what I started to realize is that <clears throat> Booktube likes to give out homework. <laughs> uh, I, I, I thought I would uh, kind of swirl everything together and read a book that um, I've actually started before and uh, gave up on. So, uh, Joseph and His Brothers by Thomas Mann. Uh, it's a novel that uh, Thomas Mann considered to be his magnum opus. And <clears throat> let's see what kind of chunkster it is, what kind of mammoth. Uh, comes in at just under 1,500 pages. It's 1,492 pages long. Uh, it's certainly beefy enough, mammoth enough. Um, and I'll, I'll read the inside portion. Uh, uh, Thomas Mann conceived uh, a novel of four parts, uh, The Stories of Jacob, Young Joseph, Joseph in Egypt, and Joseph the Provider. Uh, as a, unif a unified narrative, a mythological novel a jo of Joseph's fall into slavery and his rise to be lord over Egypt. Deploying lavish, persuasive detail, Mon conjures for us the world of patriarchs and pharaohs, the ancient civilizations of Egypt, Mesopotamia, and Palestine and the universal force of human love and all its beauty, desperation, absurdity, and pain. The result is a brilliant amalgam of humor, emotion, psychological insight, and epic grandeur. So that's what the book's about. Uh, it's translated by John E. Woods. Uh, and I know that I'm in safe hands. I've read, um, I, I believe most of the Thomas, Nom, Tom, Thomas Mann novels that I've read had been translated by him. Um, kind of of the big ones, this is the last one that I have um, still need to get to. Um, <clears throat> so, um, he translated The Magic Mountain, uh, Budden Brooks, um, Dr. Faustus, and then there's an unfinished novel, um, uh, it's Confidence Man, Felix Kroll, The Confidence Man, uh, and this is the last one for me, this is what I need to get to, and, um, I'm using all of these challenges and, um, uh, uh, events to be my incentive to finally read it, read the whole thing. Um, and I'm not sure if I'll do, maybe break it up, it's a four-part novel, maybe I might do um, four videos. I can't imagine doing a 10-minute video after reading 1,500 pages of this thing. Um, I'll just see how it goes, but um, this is also a reading notice. Um, videos, so if, if you're watching this and have ever um, 
been inclined to read uh, Joseph and his brothers, um, you're more than welcome to um, read it in the beginning of March. I'm, I'm going to start this um, March 1st, maybe a day before, day after. Uh, I'm going to finish whatever I'm reading at the time. Um, and that, that's kind of it. So, um, I'm, I'm the beginning of March for Chunksters for Charity, the um, March of the Mammoths, the German Challenge, all, all of that. Um, I'm reading Joseph and his brothers. And that's it. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like. Let me know if you've read it. Um, and uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye.